Last time on the Word of God through Jesus Christ, street in our retelecast. Finding that, let me open up with the word of prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you asking you to forgive us for all of our sins, our shortcomings, our faults, our wrongs, everything we have said, done, thought, and felt that is not pleasant in your sight. And all the prophets prophesied before them. And Zedekiah, the son of Canana, or Canano, had made him horns of iron and <laughs> said, Thus saith the Lord, with these thou shalt push Syria until they be consumed. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, Go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper. For the Lord shall deliver it into the hand and of the very, king. Very important that when you decide to embark upon entering into the ministry, that it is not something you feel like doing, neither is it something that someone else put you up to. It is very important that when you enter into the ministry, that you enter into it because you've been called by God. Because when you're called by God, he's going to train you first. Now, let's tune into our broadcast and see what the God of heaven has to say unto us. the word of God through Jesus Christ street and outreach ministry raw and uncut productions Uh, perfect time for the word. And watch this. Don't get caught up in the theatrics, but get caught up in the word. God bless you. My name is Apostle Alan E. Coleman Jr. The Lord has assigned me as apostle, teacher, and prophet of the word of God through Jesus Christ, street and outreach ministry. Thank you for joining the ministry for this broadcast that God is doing today. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't even know if he's going to have friends with me or not. I don't know, but we're going to find out. You can reach the ministry at 475-300-3850-24 hours. The ministry's website is also on the screen, so that way you'll know how to join us on the web. Not only that, but periodically there will be the Cash App link on the screen so you can share love offerings to partner with us as God uses us to help others in street and outreach ministry. There's always ongoing fundraisers because God uses the ministry to help others just like he did when he walked this earth. God bless you and let's get in here and find out what it is the Lord want to say unto us. Come on.
And now, to the Word of God, through Jesus Christ, with Apostle Alan E. Coleman, Jr. God bless you, and enjoy the message. I'll go first. I'll go second. Should I pray? Should I pray? All right. You can pray if you want to. All right. It's on you. All right. No problem. A lot of ministers won't use the prophet and prophetess of the house. Why? Because they know the mess that that minister and that ministry got going on Right. So what they do is they'll call somebody that's going to tell them what they want to hear. They'll call their nephew or their family or their best friend or the one they do the dirt with or the one they sin with. In some cases, the one they sleep with. And they say to them, come and speak and have a speaking engagement. Here's what y'all sheep don't know. There's ministers that have fundraisers and call it a speaking engagement because they're exchanging money. I'll come to your ministry and put 500 in. You come to mine and put 500 in. Neither one of them are going to the house of God because God is not in that mess. He's not in that. And then when they come with contracts, this is what I want to get paid. So now you want to get paid for ministry. Then they do the free will offering. I got to tell you. I got to tell you the truth. When they come with the contract and they get paid, that's earned income and they got to pay taxes on that. But when they say, all right, I'm going to collect also a free will offering, that is a donation and they don't have to even report that to the IRS. So you've been had. You've been took, hood away. You, right. You've been bamboozled. <laughs> you've been led astray. You been run amok. Been this is what's going on in these places of worship. And that's why God allowed that coronavirus spirit to be launched out by Satan to come and to close the places that y'all call the place of worship. We're getting ready to close, but because we gotta hit on that note right there. But the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man by whom we may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him. For he never prophesied good unto me, but always evil. The same is Micaiah, the son of Imlah. And Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. Don't, don't speak bad about the brother. Then call him. Let me meet him. And the king of Israel called for one of his officers and said, Fetch quickly Micaiah, the son of Imla. The king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, sat either of them on his throne clothed in their robes. So they had on their guard, okay, their clergy guard, looking all good and deep. And they sat in a void place at the entering in of the gate of Samaria. They sat wearing rich apparel. They had it going on. They were looking good. And they sat uh, on the throne, and while they were sitting there, all the prophets prophesied. They they made a, they they made fools out of themselves. You might as well say, because what happened was Zedekiah, the son of Canaanor, had made him horns of iron. Now, how did he do that? He must have picked up some iron and did like this. I don't know, and <laughs> said. Thus saith the Lord, with these thou shalt push Syria until they be consumed. He was whack. So Canaanor built his prophetic ministry on a sign. And that's what a lot of people do. They're building the ministry on a sign. And you can't do that. You can't do that. Because when you do that, you end up in error. That's carnal also. The Lord is telling me to jump all the way, well, all right, I'm, I'm just going to read through because I got to get to a certain point so the Lord can use uh, the other half, might as well say. But he said, Thus said the Lord, with these thou shalt 
push Syria until they be consumed. And all the prophets prophesied, saying, they prophesied so, meaning all of them agreed, saying, go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper. For the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the, live, of the king. Excuse me. And the messenger that went to call Micaiah spake to him, saying, Behold, the words of the prophets declare good to the king with one assent. They don't want a court. Let thy word, therefore, I pray thee, be like one of theirs, and speak thy good. So he tried to uh, entice him to agree with them. That's wrong. Don't be afraid to be different. That's right. Don't be afraid to be the one that hears God and relay God's message. If they don't call you to speak later for them, it's a blessing when God gives you a platform and a work to do for him. Don't compromise. Don't compromise, brother. Don't compromise, sister. Don't do it because you will pay. And at the end of this, remember, Ahab died. So you will pay. Don't do that. A lot of ministers are getting hit with that COVID-19. And they say, how? You need to check the ministry. Check your walk. If the devil got that close to you, you need to check your walk. If the enemy got that close to you, you need to check your walk. Because if you're walking, listen, if you're walking with God, the devil cannot come and Hallelujah. attack you yes. while the Lord is standing right there. That's right. He's not that bad. He can't do that. The Lord is a protector. He guards us. Some people challenge the quote, once saved, always saved. They say that's not accurate. But scripture implies that. Even Jesus said, no man can pluck you out of my father's hand. If you're really, 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 really. saved, yes. you will not leave God. Not at all. You won't do it. You just, you just won't do it. That's right. They told him that that, that messenger told Micaiah, agree with the prophets. Say what they said. Don't get the king upset. Micaiah said, verse 13 of 2 Chronicles 18, he said in verse 13, as the Lord liveth, even what my God saith, that, will, that I speak. will I speak. Yes. And when he was come to the king, the king said unto him, Micaiah, shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And he said, go ye up and prosper, and they shall be delivered into your hand. And the king said to him, how many times shall I adjure thee that thou say nothing but the truth to me in the name of the Lord. Now that king knew that it wasn't going to be successful anyway. That's why his prophets, he got 400 that he gathered to put on this play while he told the messenger, go get Micaiah, go get him. But in the meantime, all these prophets trying to be deep, the little clique, the group, listen, brother prophet, brother and sister prophetess, don't be part of the clique. Don't think that you got to roll with them. It don't matter if it's a hundred of them. That's it right. don't matter if it's 800 of them. That's it right. don't mean God is with them. That's right. It don't mean that That's because right. God always works the other way. He takes the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Yes. The wise man says there's there's, there's there's unity, there's power and strength in numbers. God says, all I need is one. What? <laughs> one. <laughs> one. Yes. Why? Because that one vessel, all they got to do is agree with God. The one that's really going to be doing all the work is God. God is going to be doing the work. Not the vessel. They're just going to agree the king told him man i keep telling you stop lying stop prophesying. stop just tell me the truth 
<laughs> See, he knew that this prophet was going to tell the truth. Some of the leaders of the ministry that you prophets and prophetesses go to, well, now you all are going to Zoom, but then there's some buildings that are open for now because it's going to close again. Remember this word, it's going to close again. Everything's going to shut down again. That demon has not stopped. That demon has not left. Everything is going to shut down again. So you might as well get prepared. So anyway, watch, watch. Hear the word of the Lord. It's going to shut down again. So anyway, and, and today is September 21st, 2021. It's not shut down now. So that means this word of wisdom and this word of knowledge, watch. Pay attention. So anyway... Don't be afraid and ashamed to be different. That's right. You don't need to be in the clique. You don't need you don't need that. A lot of y'all that are a part or fellowship with ministries, yes Lord, they don't call on you because they know that you'll expose the mess. You know what God just told me when I said yes, Lord? You know what he just you know what he just said to me? What did he say, Apostle? What did he say? God said, they know. They know that you'll expose the mess. What else they what he say now? What did he say? Because they don't want. They know your walk. They know you're real. What did he say? They know you serve God. What did he say? A lot of them are envious. They don't want you to go no further. What That's why they'll call everybody else except you. But don't worry about that. Here's what God let me say. I was missing because I had left my spirit, but God just brought it back. Praise the Lord. Those of you prophets and prophetesses that go to a lot of the ministries, you're really only there on assignment anyway. Whoa. You're, Whoa. you're not there to join. That's right. You're not there to become a member. You're already a member of the body of Christ. The body of Christ. When God called you into ministry, he gave you a work. So whenever he want to use a prophet or a prophetess, he's calling on you. So when he send you to ministries and you be thinking, oh, I got to leave this ministry and go to that one. I need to find a church. You talk just like they do. The church is not a building. That's right. We are the church. We are. What That's you right. need to be saying is, Lord, where are you sending me at now? Right. And then find out why. Yes. Because you're going on assignment. Now those broken down ministers, when they see you come in, they go, wow, look at that fire and that anointing. Oh, brother and sister, God got you and he got a calling for you. Oh, we glad you're here. We love you. And then after the hype fades away, they have you sit down. Shut up. No, you can't. You can't speak. Sit, sit down. You, you have your time. You know God. God moves in seasons. You'll have your time. Let's not get ahead of God. Oh, don't nobody be going around prophesying, telling nobody. Does say it the Lord? Tell it to me first. And being that I am the mouthpiece here, I'll tell if it's God or not. Don't fall for that mess. Don't fall for it. It's a trick because they know God is with you. Ahab had the 400 false prophets, fools, prophesy. Come on, make iron horns and say, Thus said the Lord, you're going to beat them up with this. You're going to push Syria. Oh, whatever. And then all the other ones, Amen. Amen. Go ahead. You say that. Yes. Yes. Come on. <laughs> they need to be smacked. <laughs> oh, boy. They need to be smacked. So when Ahab said that, the king said, How many times shall I tell you that I adjure thee? How many times shall I adjure thee that thou say nothing but the truth to me in the name of the Lord? Then he said, I did see all Israel scattered upon the mountains as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, these 
have no master. Let them return, therefore, every man to his house in peace. And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell you that he would not prophesy good to me but evil? Again, he said, Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne, and all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one spake, saying after this manner, and another saying after that manner. He's talking about angels. These angels were responding. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Now, it's important to understand something about angelology here and demonology. This was not a holy angel because holy angels don't lie. Holy angels don't trick nobody. Holy angels don't deceive nobody. But God, see, demons work for Satan, but sometimes God will employ them to get something done that's going to bring God glory. That's right. It's just like how in the book of Job, Satan took from Job. He put Job through trials. But well, some of y'all don't know, but Job was self-righteous because he said, that which I have feared has come upon me. So he, he feared being poor because he was a king. His name was Jobab. Look in the book of Genesis. And what happened is the Lord allowed Satan to take stuff from Job. God didn't do it because God is not a taker. The devil is a thief. He took Job's stuff because God wanted Job to know it's not about your stuff. So the ministers who think they're having stuff, turn real quick. Don't lose Chronicles because we're getting ready to close with that. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6. 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse, uh, start let's go one. to verse, let's well, got to start at verse 1, right, because right. if I go to verse 3, we'll be walking into something. Right. Verse 1 says, Paul wrote the, to the, the apostle Paul instructed the pastor Timothy, it don't go the other way around. Pastors don't instruct apostles or prophets or prophecies. They don't. Y'all need to get that right. They don't do that. God uses the foundational giftings to help them, to encourage them, to sharpen their gift. Paul, the apostle, told Timothy, the pastor, let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that have Believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and consent not the wholesome and consent not the listen to this and consent not the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and stripes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. The next verse says, verse 6, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Great gain. But those ministers that tell you money is godliness. The more money you have, the more God you have. They're lying to you. 
Oh, you got to put a, put a seed on it. Put a seed on your healing. Put a seed on your blessing. Give seven times, seven times, seven. And God is going to bless you seven times. They're lying to you. A lot of people get a fake book and do all of this because they want your money. And a lot of you don't get a good harvest or a good return because you're sowing in the wrong place. Is this doctrine feeding you? Is the Lord ministering to you through this? Then let God use you to sow into good ground. I'm not trying to bamboozle you. I'm just opening up the opportunity. Let God use you to sow into good ground because the ministry feeds people. Here it is screen. for something in the morning. And God got the man of God up and doing trick photography. Trick photography <laughs> to feed you to be a blessing. This is the spirit of excellence. Right. Doing what God taught me to do. I've been a TV producer 25 years now. Praise God. I've earned my certificates. I've earned my certification Thank you, Jesus. as a TV producer Thank in you, studio Jesus. and field. Look. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. If the ministry is feeding you, Glory. if this is sound doctrine, so into the work. On the screen. Partner with the ministry. It's on the screen. The so that out. we can continue helping people. Right now, we're helping COVID-19 survivors. Cash out on the screen. There, there'll be a commercial about that. You'll Cash see Cash out on the screen. Anyway. Let God use you. Be a blessing. In Jesus' name. This lying spirit, the Lord allowed this spirit to go to Ahab. And, and, and just leave because Ahab wasn't going to follow the truth anyway. He didn't want to hear the truth. A lot of people don't want to hear the truth. Even people who are going through problems in their marriage. Some people God did not put you with. And people who God did not put you with, when God used a minister to tell that person God didn't put you with them, they don't want to hear that. They want to hear, oh, they're going to come back home. They're going to leave that other woman and the baby they made and, and that family they started. They're going to drop all of that and come back home to you. They don't call you. They don't see you. They don't bother with you. They're doing that, but they're going to leave all of that and come back home to you. No, they're not. And if they do, why would you want them? He could have a disease. She might have a disease. Why would you want them? What man in his right mind want to be with a woman that's out sleeping with other men? You nasty fool. What woman want a man that's out there sleeping with all these women? Doing this, that, that, this, and this, and that, and coming home and kissing you. Uh-uh. Why would you want that? Why the abuse? Why do you want to keep going through stuff like that? When God want to bless you, some of you, God have position. He's brought the man of God or the woman of God into your life to bless you with a holy and powerful marriage. Someone that's not going to lie to you, cheat on you, fight you, beat you up, none of that. They're going to love you with the love of God. And God is going to love you through them, but you don't want them. Why? Because you done been through so much mess that that's what you're accustomed to. Whoa. So even you don't believe that Whoa. you deserve better than that. That's you better deep. wake up. That's deep. You better wake up. That's deep. Make it plain. Ahab didn't want to hear the truth. So he already was positioned in his life to hear a lie and believe it. And, and, and when the Lord said, how are you going to trick him? He said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. See, all them prophets, all 400 of them. <laughs> so it's not always the number that counts because the numbers could be wrong. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. God tell him it's going to work. It's going to work. You're going to entice him. Whatever you tell him, it's going to work. It's a plan. It's going to work. And do go out 
and do even so. God said, go do it. See, because the Lord used a prophet to give warning. But Ahab didn't want to hear it. Some of you ministers, God got prophets and prophetesses right there in the house that told you. God said, don't make that move. They told you. God said, don't let that person come. They told you that God said something was coming and everybody needed to go on a fast. You didn't listen. God used them to tell you. But you didn't listen. Instead, you listened to that other spirit. Uh-oh. Some sisters, I, I, I know somebody in particular, God has told the men of God to tell you, God said, you are the wife he sent. You are. You're her. And you say, and it's not just one person. There's a lot of people that do this. So this is, even though I know somebody particularly like this that's going through this and, and under attack and got somebody fasting for them because they're not doing it themselves, there's a lot of people that do that. Though. So this, this word right here is for many. You'll know who you are because this word will hit home. Sister God has sent the men of God to tell you, God said, you are the wife he sent. And you are saying, God don't work that way. He know how I am. He know me. He know that and how you come to me. How are you going to critique God? Look at the relationship or the marriage you was in. Didn't you go through enough? Didn't you get lied to, cheated on, beat up, ridiculed enough? D did you? Some people say that I've been in miserable all through the old marriage or the old covenant. And now God want to bless you because when you called out to God while you were crying, he healed you. He built you up. He let you know you are worth more than what you was going through. And now, he want to bless you. Amen. But you won't let him do it. Because you'd rather hear a lie. You'd rather be with a liar. You'd rather go through what you've been going through. You don't want the saved man. Why? Because the saved man lives for God. And you ain't ready to leave the club. You're not ready to stop being a drunk. You're not ready to stop getting high. You're not ready to leave them lesbian friends alone. You're not ready to leave family members alone that's not saved. You're not ready for that. And what's going to happen is you're going to pay. Because God said, I love you. I chose you. I want to bless you. And you said, no. I don't want to hear that. I'm not ready. Who do you think you are? Same with you, brother. Same way. You want the, the you want Twiggy. You want that. You want the women out there that's a freak, that's doing all kinds of things. You don't want that woman of God that don't have a terrible reputation. You don't want her. You rather have the tramp. You're going to pay. Then when you end up with a disease, it's your fault because God tried to bless you. So God told that spirit, go. Go ahead. It'll work. Then it says, verse 22, Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these thy prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil against thee. This is what Micaiah told him. Now, when he said the Lord have put, you got to go into the Hebrew because it don't necessarily mean that God set him up because God's not that type of God, even against his enemies. They set themselves up, but the Lord gave that demon permission. There was no hedge of protection around Ahab. He had a lot of blood on his hands. He was, he was a trick. You should see his daughter, Athaliah, that him and Jezebel had. Athaliah, she was the only queen of Judah. That woman killed her whole family. When her son died, because he was the king of Judah, her son died, she took his throne and killed all her descendants. 
grandchildren and all. So that way she wouldn't lose the throne. <laughs> that didn't work. There was one that hid from her. And then he took the throne, but he followed God. Verse 23 says, Then Zedekiah, the son of Canaan, you remember that guy with the, with the iron horns? <laughs> Yeah. He came near and smacked Micaiah upon the cheek and said, Which way went the spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee? And Micaiah said, Behold, thou shalt see on that day when thou shalt go into an inner chamber to hide thyself. The prophet was telling him, You're going to find out. You're going to find out. And then the king of Israel said, Take ye Micaiah and carry him back to Ammon, the governor of the city, and to Joash, the king's son, and say, thus said the king, put this fellow in the prison and feed him with bread of affliction and with water of affliction until I return in peace. And Micaiah said, if thou certainly return in peace, then hath not the Lord spoken by me. And he said, hearken, all ye people. Micaiah said, y'all pay attention. To this hear this word this day so the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat the king of Judah went up to rim of Gilead and the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat I will disguise myself and will go to the battle but you put on your robe so the king of Israel disguised himself and they went to the battle now the king trying to be slick See, he's trying to be slick. You ministers better watch who you hanging with and fellowshipping with because if the person is oh. a crook with you and a partner in crime with you, then you can't trust them because they won't be for you. A crook will still steal from you. That's right. A murderer will still kill you. That's right. A setup artist will still set you set up. You a liar up. will still lie on lie you. To you. Lie on you. Watch who you hang with. But some of y'all ain't paying attention. Because this is not going to break up the clique. This word is not going to break up the clique because some of you still going to do it. So the king of Israel disguised himself and they went to battle. They went to the battle. Now the king of Syria had commanded the captains of the chariots that were with him saying, Fight ye not with small or great. Save only the king of Israel. He, he sent him after the king. Go after the king of Israel. Israel was northern Israel. That's what Ahab was king of. Jehoshaphat was king of southern Israel. Right, right. And it came to pass when the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat that they said, It is the king of Israel. Therefore they compassed about him to fight. But Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him. See, the Lord was with the right one. God is with those of us that walk with him. But when you don't walk with God and when you're trying to be slick and crooked and, and trying to run capers on the people, God is not with you. You proper liars, male and female, God is not with you. There's a lady last name Dixon. I hope you're watching this. God is not with you. You was a female apostle and you said God told you come out of it. And then you came out of it, but still you got things that still say an apostle. You need to be smacked. Because you're hard-headed, but you're gonna do, you're gonna get it. You, you're gonna get it. God's gonna deal with you. He's tired. That's why he allowed this spirit, these demons. There's, listen, coronavirus is not the only demon that's out there. There's a demon of lambda or lambin, lambin, lambin. That's a, another strand. Then there's a, a demon of a mer, mer something from South Africa. Then there's um, that landing, that's from Africa. coming from uh, uh, South New Orleans. Yeah, Louisiana. Then there's a, another one, the Delta thing. So there's four strands of demons out there, and it only started with one. But four are out there now. And the, the crooked government, that's the administration right now that everybody, including Colonel Christians, cheered for. We want... I call him Joseph Iscariot. We want Joe. We want Joe. Look what he did. He lied to every last one of y'all. 
the government took payola and put him in as a puppet now he walking around like this don't know which way is up which way is down <laughs> he don't know if monday got a t in it or an o and 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 he's even saying to that old lady the old bat he's saying and you know what i'm talking about he's saying to her i'll say anything you want me to say nance what do you want me to say she's running things and all of y'all now are saying we don't want him no more. Why? Like Gas saw. went up, bills that went up, mm -hmm. everything that went up. The man lied to all of you because you were carnal. You were on his side. Then he said, take a vaccine. Here, here go a carrot. You take a vaccine, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Well, he gave, when that, $1,400 stimulus came out. It was bait. We took it. Yeah, we all took it. I took it and used it in the ministry. Sure did. Because people don't want to sow into the ministry. They playing games. They want to sow into crooked stuff. Now you got the foreigners are fake book cloning people page. And I tell people all the time, you need to every now and then go into the fake book search. I call it fake book because it's fake. It's fake. It's not real. <coughs> You go into the search and you type their name and see if you got another page that you don't know nothing about. Because there's foreigners that are cloning pages. They're taking your picture and going through your page after they make up a name and you accept their friend request. They make up a page and use some of your pictures and try to pass them stuff off as you. And then they send friend requests to you and to those that are already on your friend request. You... You better pay attention to what's Friendless. going on. Then those of you that, these Africans and them invite y'all to, let's come to Nigeria to preach. You go there and won't come back. You better wake up. Because they want position. Because you want position. Yeah. Bad enough, fake book, let anybody be up there. And, and I know a lot of ministers up there that go to somebody's service on Sunday, then as soon as the service is over, they want to stand oh, in the ministry. A bunch of them. A Hello, bunch of them do that. Sisters. And then they want to re-preach re what the preacher just preached. Then there's guys doing the same thing, preaching what the preacher just preached. Everybody is taking something that was for them, and they're trying to, 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 to cut it and put it back out to you. There's so much wickedness going on. But people are going to pay. Those of us that are walking with the Lord, I want to encourage you with this. It's time to fast. I've been on a fast since early May. A 12-hour absolute fast. No liquid, no food. Every day, 12 hours. Sometimes a double fast. Like, if God leave me, like I started mine 3 o'clock this morning. Here it is now, uh, almost quarter to 5. So when the Lord bless me to go to sleep and I wake up, whatever time that is, I'm going to jump on the fast then too. So when 3 o'clock uh, later today comes and that fast is over, I'll still be on the fast from when I woke up and jumped on the fast. Because this is the time for that. And, and you, you got to fast. You got to fast. You got to fast, you got to pray, you got to turn your plate down, you got to intercede. I'm fasting for people, certain people, specific people. I'm fasting for specific things. I'm not going to tell you what. I'm doing, you know, this is what you need to do. It's time to fast. And there's people that use that word, oh, I'm going to fast too. They jump on it and can't stay on it. Why? Because they're not there. They're, they're not there. That's too much for them. They see you do something and think they could do it. And you can't do that. Your walk got to be your walk, and it got to be lined up with God. And if it's not, you're going to pay. You're going to pay. Some things you go through, it's because you bought it on yourself. You're going to pay. When, was, when, when Jehoshaphat cried out, verse 31, 2 Chronicles, chapter 18, says the Lord helped him, and God moved them to depart from him. So God moved the enemy away from him. For it came to pass that when the captains of the church perceived that it was not the king of Israel, they turned back again from pursuing him. And a certain man drew a bow, a bow, a bow. bow. at a venture, 
and smote the king of Israel between the joints of the harness. Therefore, he said to his chariot men, turn thine hand. This is what Ahab said. That thou mayest carry me out of the host, for I am wounded. Ahab just got hit with an arrow, trying to be slick. And he told the driver, get me out of here. I'm wounded. And the battle increased that day. Howbeit, the king of Israel stayed himself up in his chariot against the Syrians until the evening, which means the evening. And about the time of the sun going down, he died. Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us for our sins and our shortcomings. Forgive us for our faults and for our wrongs. Minister to us and talk to us. In Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing us and for answering us. I thank you for this word and bless it to feed your children. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we pray. Amen. God bless you. Your turn, brother. Let the Lord do it. Well, that was a blessed word, brother. God really used you with that. Very powerful. Very powerful. I'd like to ask you to turn your Bibles to 1 Corinthians. Excuse me. You got your page? Yeah, it's in, it's in here. 1 Corinthians. I'd like to ask you to turn your Bible to. Because what the Lord just used the apostle to say is very, very powerful. And you, you got to understand the point of all of this. I thought I had my the Lord. I really don't need my paper. I can go a whole nother direction. But, uh, another. Well, turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 5. I don't know where my paper is. Thought I had it. 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Excuse me. Oh, there it is. Got it. I got it. Second Corinthians chapter five. Oh my goodness. Okay. Verses one through twenty-one. Here we go. For we know this is Second Corinthians chapter five, verse one. 21. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, Amen. which is from heaven. Amen to that. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. 
For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then, then we're all dead. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore, henceforth, no, we know man after the flesh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God, for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Now I'd like to ask you to jump backwards to chapter 4, and we're going to read verses 1 through 16 of 2 Corinthians. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world, that's Satan, has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. I tell you, that's, that was a powerful show. That was really, really, really a powerful show. 
Join us the next time when the Lord leads us to go back in the scripture with some more information. Maybe it'll be with one of my friends. Maybe it'll be just me. I don't know. Either way, the Lord will be orchestrating the lesson. God bless you. And take care. <laughs> Till the next time. In Jesus' name. Lord, I just thank you for all that I have in you. And all that you are in my life. For all that you've done for thy servant. Lord, you're just so wonderful. You're just so wonderful. I can't think of how else my life would be without you. As long as I have Jesus. I have a satisfied mind. This is my prayer. Sometimes I don't have food on my table. Love.